Hi guys, so we're using Pixlr.com to make graduation fans. If you're not familiar with Pixlr, it is a free online tool, editing tool, and it's totally free. You just navigate to Pixlr.com, that's P-I-X-L-R.com, and jump right in. Once you get to their home screen, you want to click the Pixlr E tool. Once that opens up, you want to create new. From there, you want to create print. And from there, you want to create, click, um, I say create, I mean click, <laughs> click eight and a half by 11. And then create. Now on this screen, you will see that it's blank. And to get the fan, you can just go to Google. And what I typed in is photo bracket vector. And I'm just going to click any one. You can use any. I would like to use the one I used earlier, but if not, then I'll grab this one. It'll be a little different, but I can use it. So let's see. Ah, there's one already done. So if you're just tuning in guys, I'm just doing a dual tutorial for my group, but I'm putting it on YouTube and for TT just for content. So if I'm not saying much, I'm not looking at the screen, I'm trying to do this really quick. I don't want it to be a long tutorial. So we're just going to grab this. I'm going to copy this image and go back to Pixlr, edit, and paste. And then we're just going to, I want to turn it. I want to turn it like this. And so we're going to click the wand tool to get rid of the white. And then I'm going to click the wand tool again and select the black. And I'm going to edit, copy, edit, paste. So with that, I would keep that, but I, there's some white at the top that I don't like so I'll probably just fill this in so I'm going to click on the first layer which is here the black and then I'm going to click the one click inside I'm going to click here and make a new layer an empty layer click the brush tool bring it up I don't want any softness I'm just going to fill that in This is creating from scratch, guys. So I've done that. Edit. I'm control D to deselect. And then with that white, I'm just going to add a stroke. Edit. I mean with the yellow. Sorry. I'm going to add a stroke. Just so it can fill any cracks along um, this border. It don't matter what size. I made it a 10.
if it keeps freezing that's fine for tt i'm going to load this up to youtube my link is in the bio and on youtube you'll be able to see which tools i'm clicking and everything so if it keeps freezing that's fine you're welcome So from here, I'm putting the black layer back at the top. I'm just going to get rid of, rid of these other layers that I'm not using. So now I have that black layer and the yellow layer. From there, I find a photo. You just go to Google and copy a photo, which I've already done one. So I'm just going ahead and open this and grab this photo from here. Well, no, I, I need to go back and grab another one because I've already cut that photo. Well, you wouldn't go to Google. I'm going to Google. I shouldn't say that. I'm going to Google to do this for this tutorial. You're going to use someone, whoever orders from you, you're going to use their picture. So I use this young lady here and I just copied her image. And went back to the editor and control V to paste it in. Then I'll just click on her image and drag it. I want it behind that frame. So behind that frame, I need to make sure I'm clicked on the black frame and then I want to right click on it and then I'm going to lock it for now. So then click back on the image and drag it to where I want it. And that's about it here. So I'm going to leave it there and then I'm going to click back on the black frame layer. Click the wand. Click in. Actually, I'm going to click the yellow layer. And I'm going to select pixels for the yellow layer. Go at the top to select and then select pixels. And then there I'm going to click on the image of the girl. And I'm going to hit edit, copy, edit, paste. And then what that did, I'm going to turn off. You double click to unlock the um, black layer. So what that did was just cut, out, cut her out in that shape. Now with that done, what we're going to do is start building the text, whatever you want it to say. So I'm just going to click over in the plus area, the plus sign area over here and create an empty layer. And then I'm going to click over here and click T. Add text. And then I'm just going to type senior in all caps. With that still selected, with the cursor still blinking in the area where you type senior, click at the top to change the size. With that done, click over on that senior layer and hit duplicate. Then you'll turn the main, the original senior layer off. And then you're going to select layer at, t at the top and click rasterize. Then you're going to click edit, stroke. And we're just going to thicken that up, that word. As thick as you want it, it's up to you. Okay, I like that. With that done, you're going to pull it in place and you're going to make a duplicate of that layer. And I like to take and pull the copy behind the main um, layer. And with that, we're going to add a stroke to it. 
and we're going to make it a color so click the box and just I'm going to make it white and you can make it as big as you want or as small as you want it's up to you and apply on the main let's see I didn't do that on the on the main I did it on the copy before that let's make another duplicate of the main and pull it behind so on the one that's right under the main let's make a stroke stroke I'm gonna make it white and I'm going to apply that so on the second layer of the senior which will be which the second copy which is the third layer for senior I'm going to add another stroke and click the box and I'm going to just change the color to something that's in here once you're here you can pick out the color that's in the photo that you're altering or making the fan with And again, you can make that as big as you want. And I'm going to switch this up here so it's a little bit more visible on this screen. So I'm going to edit. I'm, I'm clicked on the first layer of senior and I'm going to edit fill. And I'm just going to put red in the red in there. And I'm going to leave that next layer white. And this back layer, I'm going to fill it with the yellow. But I'm going to try to get the yellow that's in this tassel. Apply. Did our time stop? Okay, we're back with segment two. If you're watching from YouTube, I was doing this on live on TikTok. So if you want to give me a follow, the my TikTok handle will be in the comments under the video. So where we left off, we added the color to the last layer of senior. Now we're going to get into a little bit of playful stuff. Well, we're going to do 20, 2022 first. Let's do that first. So we're going to grab an, another empty layer. We're going to make another empty layer and we're going to grab the text tool. Add text. I'm hitting enter. And if you click off to move up, then you just click back on text to make it um, editable again. So you click at the top and you want to click format. And for, our, let me slide this over, for line spacing, you want to move that so the um, numbers come together a little bit closer. Once you have them as close as you want them, then you just click off and you want to make a duplicate of that layer. I'm going to turn that main layer off. And then I'm going to go up and select layer and I'm going to raster the layer. So that makes it an image or, you know, you cannot go back and edit that text unless you control Z to step back. So with that, we're just going to add a stroke. I want to thicken it up some. Okay, that should do it. And I'm going to apply that. And before we move on, I'm just going to go ahead and fill it. Edit, fill. And I'm going to go ahead and fill it with that red color. Apply. So I'm going to duplicate that layer twice. And I'm going to bring the main 2022 up to the top. And on the second, the first copy, I'm going to edit stroke and I'm just going to do the same thing as senior I did senior so I'm going to make that white and 
I'm going to apply that. I'm going to the next layer. I'm going to add a stroke and I'm going to make that stroke yellow. Okay, apply. So I'm going to hold um, control and I'm just going to click all three of the 2022 layers. Click the um, arrow tool and slide it over to here. And I'm going to zoom, you know, make it a little bigger. Not zoom it up. I was about to say zoom it up, but make it a little bigger. So I'm going to come down and move my senior layers down some. So I'm going to click all three of those. And I'm going to bring it down some. So I'm going with those three layers selected for the letters, I mean the numbers, I'm going to unlock it at the top. I don't think it's going to let me do it. Okay, I should have did it before. I was just going to widen the letters, but I won't do it now since it did. I should have did it before I did all the editing. So I'm going to leave that like that. Let it be so. And then I'm going to go back here on the photo layer, which, you know, we cut the photo out of the um, shape of the bracket. And on that layer, I'm just going to add a stroke. Is it not going? I don't see it. Edit stroke. Oh, I need to do it real big. So I had to do it super huge for this one. So I'm going to add a yellow stroke there. And I'm going to apply it. For the actual bracket that's in black, I'm going to edit and fill it with red the red that's in the letters and I'm going to apply it you can go a step further for the red bracket that you the one you made red you can add a stroke to it and make it white to have it fit the letters if you choose to so let's see what that looks like Remember, don't be afraid to play with this. And see, it's adding it to the inside and outside. I didn't want it on the on the inside. So I'm just going to leave it. I'm not going to add it. Cancel. I'm not going to add that. Now for me, this part here, outside of the, the, um, the, numbers and the letters down here i don't like that extra so the extra color showing i like it to blend in with the outside color um, line of the numbers and the letters so what i would do here is add a empty layer over the red bracket and then i will take the paintbrush Make it a little smaller, but make sure it is on full hardness. And then I will color that red in some. It's okay for this little point here, but I will just color that in. So it could look seamless to me, for me. You could always color that this in and take that little red piece off if you want to. But for me, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to just leave it. Leave it like so. So 
So it's pretty much done, but I want to add a little bit more pop to it. You could add the person's name here. You could add their school mascot over here, whatever you wanted to do. So for me on the, the red bracket layer, I'm just going to go up to filter and then I'm going to go to bevel. Now, once you do this, if you want to apply the same bevel to all the, um, so if you want to do the bevel on the bracket and the letters and numbers as well, you're going to have to screenshot what settings you used. You're going to have to take your phone and screenshot the exact settings that you used, or you're going to have to write them down because you're going to need to remember what you put in there for the settings. After you get it how you want it. See, I'm going to change this. Um, shadow color to a darker red. I'm going to leave that white there and then I'm just going to make the size of the bevel a little bit bigger and I'm just play with move this around until it looks how I want it to look. Now I'm gonna uh, let me screenshot. Let me take a picture because I want to apply the same effect on the letters and numbers. I'm gonna hit apply. So then I'm gonna go up to the top layer of the numbers. And I'm gonna go to filter, bevel, and I'm just gonna go and key in the information. Twenty seven degrees, twenty three degrees, thirty eight pixels, one hundred percent, sixty percent white. No, not sixty percent. Oh, yes, it was sixty and seventy five percent red. Okay, I like that. So I'm going to apply that. So then I'm going to go down to the top layer of senior or the red layer and I'm going to do the same thing. Add a bevel and then key in. Let's see what Photoshop, the difference with Photoshop, you could save this. I'm not sure if you can in here. I hadn't tried. Again, I just use this as a quick teaching tool. That's something you guys can explore if you care to. And then 75% of this red. And I'm going to apply. Now with that, it is pretty much done. Let me pause and make sure my recording had not stopped. So with that, it's pretty much done. And what you want to do is go up and hit File, Save. And I'm going to save it as the PXZ file. That way, if I mess up something, I can come back in here and it's fully editable. So, Save As. And I'm just going to say 1, 2, 3 pixel or document close and then you're going to want to go up and you can save as or you can export as a quick PNG file and one two three once you save it as a PNG image you can pull it into your Cricut the size it the size you need or size you want and cut print and cut and continue on to create your fan.